Hello, I'm Pastor Michael E. Tom, the senior pastor of the Bethlehem Baptist Church here in Falls Valley, Oklahoma. We are located at 311 North Dunbar, and we'd love to see your face in the place. But we want to right now welcome you to a word from the Lord Television, a word from the Lord TV. And we are broadcasting so that the word can go forth in Jesus' name. And if you'd like to connect with us in our ministry, you can see first here the link tree information. That's linktr.ee backslash Pastor Michael Eton. And there you can get uh, all the information from our church website, our Facebook page, our Instagram. Uh, anything you want to know about me and our ministry can be found at that location, all of my links. So we'd love for you to, again, uh, link tr.ee backslash Pastor Michael Eton, that's E-A-T-O-N. And if you would like to support our ministry, if this word touches your heart, mind, and soul, then afterwards we want you to go to your cash app and cash app a donation of 10, 20, 30, 40, or however much uh, to a word from the Lord, a word from the Lord, cash app a word from the Lord. And I let you know that I am the senior pastor of the Bethlehem Baptist Church. I want to take this opportunity now to let you know that Bethlehem Baptist Church is a safe place to worship. And I want to extend this invitation for you to join us every Sunday for our Safe in the Service Sundays, uh, where we have made sure a Safe in the Service worship. We made sure that you are safe when you come to Bethlehem, 311 North Dunbar. We provide masks, gloves, uh, hand sanitizer, proper distancing in the sanctuary. We purify air and we've done and spent a lot of money to make sure that you're safe in the service. Also, we abbreviated our service from a two-hour service to a one-hour service. We'll get you in to worship the Lord and you'll be able to get out. And the only thing we want to spread at the Bethlehem Baptist Church is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So please join us at 311 North Dunbar. If you're in Falls Valley, Oklahoma, we'd love to see your face in the place. And also, I want to tell you a little bit about the series that I have started entitled Through. The series is entitled Through. And this series is to encourage those Christians and believers who uh, God hasn't delivered you from, but he hasn't left you alone because he said that he will help you through it. And we're going to be talking about that today, a message today that we're going to talk about is how to make it through the fiery furnace of COVID times, how to make it through the fiery furnace of COVID times. And uh, so we want to share that message with you today. And we're gonna put up my PowerPoint and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the word, get into the word. And uh, just one moment, we'll get into the word. Again, we're talking about a series entitled Through, Through. And our message today is a message entitled, once again, How to Make It Through the Fiery Furnace of Covert Times. How to Make It Through the Fiery Furnace of Covert Times. And we're going to be reading Daniel, really starting from 18 to uh, 25. I'm only going to share three verses during our program today, but I want you to go back and look at it a little later. Uh, Daniel chapter 3, verses start with 17 to go to uh, 25. But today I'm only going to read three verses uh, to you, uh, starting with verse 18. And it reads as following. Even, but even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, 
If we will not serve your God or worship the image of gold you have set up. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the furnace of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Look, he said. I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not harmed, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. The form of the fourth is like the Son of God. We're going to talk today on a word from the Lord TV around three points. As the Holy Spirit gives us utterance, we're going to talk about I'm going to make it through the fiery furnace of COVID time. First of all, you got to remember that you don't compromise. You don't compromise. Second, uh, don't be consumed. Don't be consumed. And thirdly, don't be confined. Don't be confined. We want Christians to know over this television air that Christians have the ability to not be consumed in anxious times. Christians have the abilities to not be consumed in anxious times. We're going to try to look at this uh, video and then we'll get back into the word. Here on A Word from the Lord TV. Amen. We're talking about how to make it through the fiery furnace of covert times. How to make it through the fiery furnace of covert times. First thing I want to challenge you Christians is if you want to make it through the fiery furnace of covert times, is first of all, I want to challenge you not or don't compromise. Don't compromise. The verse says, in chapter thir uh, verse 13, um, it says that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Let me give you a little brief background information for those who may not know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who loved God, they worship God, and they love God and would worship God only. 
this madman of a king set up an image and uh, image about the size of the image of Jesus in Rio de Janeiro. Um, it says that it is 98, uh, I think 98 feet tall. Um, but his statue was, I believe, uh, 90 feet tall, uh, about the size of uh, 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 reaching up to the heights of a nine story building. That's how tall it was. It was a golden image and and he uh, made an edict that uh, when the music plays, you look at that image, you bow down to it and you worship it. And as you saw in the clip, everybody bowed except three people and the other person in the film um, that was being held was Daniel in this film clip. The, the clip was a bit, a little inaccurate, but um, it gives you an idea of what was going on in the text. This man wanted this golden image to be worshiped, and this image was of him. And like many dictators in that day and time, they were uh, uh, thought that they were deities or tried to become deities. And this man made an image of himself and told the people to bow down and worship when the music played. And when uh, the music plays, you see in the film, everybody bow but three people, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They didn't bow because the word of God says that you should worship him and worship him only. And they were devout in New Testament terms, Christians. They were devout New Testament Christians. So when it, when all of that happened and they bowed down, it, it, even really before that happened, the text says that this is what they say, your majesty. Well, well, well first in 17, they said that the Lord will deliver us but in verse 18, he says, basically, even if he don't, we still will not bow. They refuse to compromise during uh, uh, this time. And if you want to make it through a fiery furnace, a fiery furnace of the trials that we're going through in this COVID times, you as a Christian must not compromise. You as a Christian must worship God and worship him only if you want him to be at work in your life, you can only worship him. And, and it reminds me of what Joshua said in Joshua 24, verse 15. This is what Joshua said. But if it is unpleasing in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers serve beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whom land you are living. But he said, this is what Joshua says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. If you want God to work in your life with miracles, signs, and wonders, you have to obey him and obey him only. You have to be committed to him and to him only. You've got to worship him and worship him only. That means that God is number one in your life. Oh, you can't worship at the feet of the donkey or the elephant. I've seen many Christians do this. They, they, they identify themselves as Christians, but um, the views uh, they spew is either of the donkey or the elephant, Republican or Democrat. You cannot tell that they are a Christian because they put their political beliefs ahead of their gospel beliefs. And God doesn't like that. God only works in the life, miraculously in the life of those who don't compromise. And I always like to say, my God don't ride the back of a donkey or an elephant, but he works through the hearts and minds of people like in this text in the political arena Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel in the book of Daniel you read that God used them in the political arenas and he showed up with miracle signs and wonders because these people these men obeyed him and obeyed him only just like Joshua Joshua said oh as for me and my house we're going to serve the Lord. And if you want to make it through the fiery furnace of COVID times, have God show up 
can show out in your life, you've got to. Don't compromise. Talking about today, again, how to make it through the fiery furnace of COVID times. The first thing we talked about is don't compromise. And the second thing we want to talk about is don't be consumed. In verse 22, this is what the text says. The, the text says, therefore, because of the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flames uh, of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The king got so mad at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and told him to fire the furnace up hotter than it has ever been fired up before because he was about to make an example of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because they went down, down to him. And as a result, uh, the fire got cut up hotter and uh, hotter than, than, than ever before. And guess what happened? The men who were going to throw them in to the fiery furnace got burnt up. But guess what? These men got burnt up, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not. They were not con consumed because God showed up and, and in this time i believe i think that god is saying to his people in this fiery furnace of covert times if you do not compromise that he's going to show up uh, and he's going to show out in your life uh, he's going to move uh, in ways that he's not moved before in ways uh, that you've never seen him move before because you refuse to compromise uh, you will not uh, be consumed soon you will not die uh, of COVID. You will not uh, be consumed. Uh, oh, your job uh, will be safe. Your family will be safe. Your church uh, will be safe uh, from the fires of this COVID times. Uh, God says uh, tonight, today, or uh, this moment uh, that you're listening and looking in right now. Oh, that you don't have to be afraid uh, because you refuse uh, all the compromise uh, you refuse uh, and when you refuse to compromise you refuse uh, oh to be consumed uh, and you look out uh, all over the culture today uh, look out preacher man the churches uh, that are being consumed around you uh, but because you refuse uh, to compromise because you built uh, this church uh, on the word of God uh, your church uh, will make it through this fiery times uh, because you refuse uh, to compromise when everybody else uh, all stopped teaching the Bible and had children come in place and play in PlayStation as opposed to teaching the word of God and they were getting the crowds in uh, and you thought uh, that you were on the wrong road but you refused uh, to compromise and now you're seeing those churches uh, being consumed. Uh, you're seeing those people that and went to churches where they were not teaching the word of God. You're seeing them being cons consumed with fear. Oh, they are afraid. But because you know the words, because you taught the words, you will not be consumed in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I'm, I'm a little happy here. I'm a little happy. I need to go on. My next point. First of all, if you don't want to be consumed in this fiery furnace of COVID times, you got number one, you got to not compromise. Number two, you have to not be consumed, not be consumed. Uh, it reminds me of another time where uh, people were being consumed. Um, and, and, it, and it seemed like that because you obey the word of God, it can get you in trouble. It got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in trouble. And, and in Daniel chapter 6, uh, verse 24, uh, really in that Dan Daniel chapter 6, uh, Daniel got in trouble for praying. Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got in trouble for not bowing down to the image. Uh, and then later, Daniel would get in trouble for not stopping praying. And, and, and he got in trouble, got thrown in the lion's den. I don't have time to tell that story, but this is what happened to those who had set him up. Uh, Daniel was not consumed by 
by the lions. Uh, but this is what happened to those who were trying to trap him. It says, at the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and, and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and their children. And look at what this verse says. It says, and before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all of their bones. You see, when you refuse to compromise in this text and we're looking today, we see that you will not be consumed. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego oh, was not consumed by the fire. Daniel was not consumed by the lions because they refused all oh, to compromise. Miracle signs and wonders showed up in their life. Uh, and if you want uh, the power of God to show up uh, in your life, uh, you've got to be willing to, number one, not compromise. Uh, oh, and number two, don't be consumed. And this last point in the message again today that we're talking about how to make it through the fiery furnace of COVID times. Um, on a word from the Lord TV with Pastor Michael Eton. This last point that we're going to share with you is don't be confined. Remember, I told you, don't compromise. Number two, I told you, don't be consumed. And number three, I'm telling you right now is don't be confined. Don't be confined. This is what the text says. And verse 25, look at it for yourself. It says, look, he answered. This is after he threw them into the fiery furnace. I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. He said, look, look. I see four men, and get this L word, loose. These four men were loose in the fire. Now, they were loose in the fire. You, 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 you learn they were bound before, and while they were trying to be thrown in the fire, the, the people were trying who bound them and tried to throw them in the fire got burnt up. And now we see, oh, that in the midst of the fire, they were loose. Oh, don't miss that. In the midst of the fire, they were loose. Oh, and, 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 and they were not harmed. And it says that the form of the fourth is like that of the Son of God. They were loose walking in the midst of the fire. And right now, in Jesus' name, in COVID times, I tell you to be loose. In Jesus' name, you don't have to walk around in fear. You can be loose. In Jesus' name, you don't have to be afraid. You can be loose. In Jesus' name, in this COVID time, you can walk around free. You can manifest miracle signs and wonders. Oh, you don't have to be consumed and instead of surviving you can thrive in the midst of this COVID time God is saying oh because you would not compromise oh you will not be consumed because you would not compromise oh you will not be confined he says that you can be loose right now in Jesus name I'm running out of time Oh, this last message here. For those who had not heard, you should have heard this text now. In Psalms 91 and 3, God says this of you in COVID times, in the fiery furnace of COVID times. He said, surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fire. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fire. And guess what? And from the deadly plagues. Oh, the coronavirus is... 
a deadly virus, a deadly plague. The text says, surely he shall deliver you from the snares of the filer, of the filer. Hello, somebody, God says, he can protect you in COVID times. And I'm running out of time, children. So I got to let you know that there's another fire that will happen in eternity. If you don't come to terms with this message today, the Bible says that God God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have a everlasting life, uh, shall not perish in hell's fire, shall not perish from the punishment of God for the punishment of our sins. Uh, God so loved the world that he sent his son to die for the sins of the world. And if you're listening at the sound of my voice uh, and you know ever given your life uh, to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said that I am the way. He is a definite article, which means uh, he is the only way to God. There are not other ways to God. Buddha can't save you. Muhammad can't save you. Nobody else. Jesus said that I am the only way to God that makes him the most unique in history. Others uh, all will claim that there are other ways he said, God, Jesus said, I am the only way. God said, I sent my only son. And today, if you can believe that Jesus Christ is God's only son, that he died for your sins uh, and was buried and raised on the third day, then today you can be saved. What you got to do, though, what you got to do to be saved from this eternal furnace, fiery furnace, is you got to pray a simple prayer uh, simply dear Lord Jesus come into my life come into my heart I believe I believe that you are the son of God I, I, I believe this with all of my heart and all of my soul in all of my mind, I, I believe this. I, I, I believe it. Jesus, come into my heart, my life, as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior, come, Lord Jesus, come. And if you're willing to pray that prayer, you can be saved today in Jesus' name. I want to thank you for listening to a word from the Lord TV. And again, if you'd like to support the ministry, if if this uh, was something that God used in your life, this is our cash app, a word from the Lord. And if you'd like to connect with us in other ways, this is the link tree right there, the link tree with Pastor Michael Eton. Click those links and support us today. God bless you and keep you is my prayer.